Hey, this is Timo from OnlineBuilderGuy.com and um, today we are going to be talking about how to move from one page builder to another. Now, I still haven't made any final decisions, but I might be moving from Thrive Architect to Elementor Pro. But what I realized is that I just can't turn off uh, Thrive Architect and continue using Elementor Pro starting from today. Uh, and here is what would happen if I would do that. So here uh, I have a very simple blog post that I have created with Thrive Architect. Uh, don't pay attention to these social sharing buttons. They are uh, provided by a separate uh, social media plugin. But pay attention to this very simple structure. I have this three column layout here and then I have a star rating here. And this, this column layout and this star rating is actually provided by Thrive Architect. I have built this page by using Thrive Architect's uh, out-of-the-box components that you can find in that plugin. Now if I go to plugins and click deactivate, let me just turn off Thrive Architect and let me just reload uh, the page again, you will notice that even with a page this simple, uh, the column layout is gone, you have this call 1, call 2, call 3 sitting on top of each other um, and the star rating is gone. Now consider the situation that you have tens or even hundreds of pages that you have built with, with your current page builder. Like in my situation, onlinebuilderguy.com has approximately 40 blog posts plus some other content that I have created with Drive Architect. And if I just turned off Drive Architect and started using Elementor, all the posts all the content that I have created with Thrive Architect would look very weird, very funny. So why would I do this in the first place? What's, what's the catch here? Well, obviously, I would like to use only one page builder. And you just have to remember that for every page builder, you have to pay licensing fees. So right now, I'm actually using two, um, or I have licenses for two page builders. I have licenses for Drive Architect and licenses for Elementor Pro. Um, but I do not like to pay for too many page builders. I would only like to use one page builder. And uh, in order to do so, and before I can deactivate my current plugin Drive Architect, I will have to make a gradual migration uh, related to my content. So for instance, what I could do is that I would I could just go to the uh, the first blog post that I have ever written with uh, or created with Thrive Architect and then I would just start migrating the content so that it would look good with Elementor. And then I would just move on to the next post, on to the next post, on to the next post and finally all the content would be migrated uh, to, to be used with Elementor Pro. Uh, but obviously this is a very long process and by the way you could do it the other way, like you could start with your latest blog post and convert it to be used with Elementor and move from top to bottom type of way. But as you realize that there is a lot of work involved Obviously, the best solution would be that um, you could just hand over this big task for someone else and then someone else would, you know, do this migration for you, but it will cost money. And if you, you just can't do that, like for instance, I'm in a situation where I just can't do that because I do not have the budget to do so, so I will just I will just have to live with this situation. I will just have to have these two plugins uh, existing on my WordPress installation at the same time. Uh, they do work together 
and that's totally good that's good news let me just activate um, Elementor again and show you what I mean and let me just make sure that driver architect is also activated so you can have these two plugins live on your website at the same time but you will notice that as soon as you start creating a new blog post or page that you have these two page builder buttons uh, sitting at the top of the page when you are creating uh, creating a new post uh, you have edit with Elementor and you have launch drive architect buttons uh, So the choice is really yours um, If you decide to migrate the content yourself, uh, it is going to take a lot of time uh, but you can also hand over this big task and this of, of course depends how much content you have on your site for someone else uh, and finally, when you have migrated the content from one page builder to another, then you can turn off the old page builder plugin and, and the next time uh, they ask you to renew the license for the product, you can say that, no, no thanks, I'm not using your product anymore and I'm just focusing on this one product. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, this is a very important topic. Uh, I don't think that too many people understand this. Um, I didn't understand this when I started using Driver Architect, but this is really the case that you have to face uh, when you migrate from one builder to another. Obviously, the best ideal in an ideal world, you would be using just one product as long as you are blogging or building websites, but this may not be the case. So just wanted to bring this up so that you know what is going on. Anyways, that's the topic for today and, and I will get back to you soon. Bye-bye.